Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the streak. We're jumping in again. This time I want to start out as just, I just want to have a chill run. So I'm going to go as, what's his name? Where is he? Good old Eden. Eden's fun. He's a, he's a cool chap. And yeah, I just want to have a good run as Eden. Ooh, interesting start. We got the, t uh, the Timmet's Dice. Rerolls items into items from a random pool with a random cost. Very intriguing. Um... Oh. The fire, I really am a big fan of the firecracker flower, but I keep being told to give it more of a chance, I'm going to. And then also as well, on top of that, we've gotten the, um, we've got the lovely, there you go, actually managed to make it work there. Um, got the, uh, rosary as well, which is a pretty nice thing to grab early on, because with the rosary here, we, uh, get a bit of a stat boost, and obviously our health is looking rather healthy. But yeah, I, I guess it's kind of just like a, a more delayed Explosivo. Um, like quite a bit more delayed. But I guess we can make some use out of it. So one thing I want to try here is if I come in here and reroll this. Yeah, there you go. Look, so I can I can grab this um, just for, for a single soul heart. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. So we just got a half decent item here. Don't know how good it is overall. Hoo-ya! Didn't know if that was worth it at all, but there you go. Half decent item here. Also, our character is looking rather gnarly right now. Ooh, this is a... Uh... I don't like the look of that room. <laughs> I do not like the look of that. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, I just nuked everything. That was that was pretty lovely. Anyways, as for today's question of the day, um, if you were going to make your own game, if you are going to design your own game, what would, what would you theme it around? What would be the theme and the genre of game that you'd go for? I think every gamer has had their perfect idea of what their game would be. Mine, I would love to do like a Call of Duty Zombies mixed with uh, a roguelike sort of thing. I know that there is similar versions to that, but I don't know, that formula I, I really like. And then, yeah, also a like um, Borderlands type proper roguelike would be cool. There is actually a mod that does it, but in my opinion, it's not how I'd picture it. Um, pretty nice here. Um, it's not exactly what I'd picture it as. I might, I might go down to do a mother run here. I could be tempted by a mother run. We'll see what keys we end up getting. Yeah, but yeah, shop is always going to be worth re-rolling with this, uh, this setup. Beautiful stuff. And yeah, I need to remember how to use this, this remembrance thing here, because it is pretty goddamn good if you use it right. Basically, just do that. <laughs> It's kind of hard to get it right, but it's pretty goddamn good. It's like having the Mentamori all the goddamn time, which does quite a good bit of damage for us. Oh my god. Just give me my favorite items, why don't you? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Some of my favorite stuff here. We also started with pretty good stats here, didn't we? But yeah, I'll let you explode, because it's funny. I'll also bomb this. See what we got going on here, but yeah, I I don't know how you guys are feeling about it so far, but I'm I'm liking the uh, I'm liking the reduced Isaac on the channel. I know it's weird. I know that some of you maybe uh, maybe a bit amiss at no more daily Isaac. I know it's not exactly uh, the norm for my channel. I've been doing daily Isaac for what like three years now, um, but. All, all good things must come to an end, and it, it, it paves the way for new stuff. I'm liking playing Slay the Spire at the minute. As expected, it isn't doing super great on the channel, but I never expected it to anyways. It's an older game. It's not really the style of game I typically play. So I, I kind of am understanding of that, and I'm, I'm pretty much fine with it. I, I kind of had a feeling that that would be the case. Um, but it's just something fun. I'm going to sort of bring Peglin back in as well. Oh my god, that is... That is some... Steep costs right there. That is some steep, steep costs. My goodness. Wow. It's cool that it re-rolled them into something new, but it's not anything even remotely affordable. Ooh, two bombs there is absolutely perfect. Because now we can do this. Come over here and bomb this guy. Which will give us that, which will give us that, which will do that. <laughs> Oh, that isn't even, that isn't even a cost. It's just free. That's free real estate, baby. Okay. Okay, this, this is the confidence boosting run that I needed. This is something purely, purely beautiful. Unfortunately, I can't actually get to any of that. 
But wow, I wasn't expecting to see that. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting to see that. And the fact that we did is amazing. Right, one second. Sorry, had a message on Teams. But yeah, this obviously puts us in a, a very, very good spot for right now. <laughs> I think this run is uh, pretty set and done. Um, yeah, we've got we've got Sacred Heart at this point, so I'm willing to check this out. Fortunately, not exactly what I was hoping for. I'm going to gamble on this guy. I'll give him up to two hearts. Very, very happy with that. Okay. And we'll go down here. Um, I did want to use my corruption, though, to do error room. But no, I'd rather stick on this path. I can do my I can do my error room later. Uh, I can do it on this floor, actually, I think. Um, oh, no. I'll have to do it on the next floor. So I'm going to have to hold on to this for a little while, but it's fine. But this, this is... Oh, all we need now, all we need now is Play-Doh Cookie and Fruitcake, and this might be my favourite run I've ever played. <laughs> it's it's something pretty beautiful at the moment. I need another key before I enter there, really. Yeah, this is some top-tier stuff right here. This is the run that dreams are made of. I mean, more of the Void on top of it as well. More of the Void's a great addition on top of this. It really is. I can't remember. Does that more of the void have Hermie? I'm gonna have to try that out. I think it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's ludicrous. Tower of Babel. Unfortunately, not exactly what I'm hoping for here. Let's randomize. Yeah, we're gonna get some stuff we don't exactly want on occasion, but hey her. I love the fact that when more of the Void has Herming, it actually gives it extra range. We are the powerest of powerhouses right now. Like we don't even need more of the Void. More of the Void is just an, an extra add-on onto what is... Oh my god, really? Gonna explode on me like that, some extra bombs. I'd like an extra key, please, game. Yeah. Stand no chance. And we even end up getting an Angel deal here. Wow. Unfortunately, not the best item, but it's, it's not bad, though. Oh, pfft, we got Seraphim already. Okay. Okay. Rosary. We started Rosary, yeah. Damn. This run is wild. <laughs> Truly wild. There's a key in here, apparently, that I didn't see. Good, good. Where's that key? Thank you. I want to go to my shop and, and re-roll. Um... Although, realistically, it's probably better to just go into my item room and reroll again rather than wa waste a key. See if we can get anything better from our item room. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah, dude, the randomized costs, I don't mind, but can it can it not be fucking 89 cent or whatever that just was? That's just wild. Right. We should be fine at getting our uh, knife piece here. This could be an, end up being a... A pretty speedy little run we get going on here. Good, good, through we go. Beautiful stuff. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to go do the boss again, because that boss was a piece of piss. Every time, man. Every time. <laughs> there you go. Experimental treatment's a little risky here, but honestly, I think I could, yeah, I could be fine losing some. A fire rate's not the ideal thing to lose, but also our range is now really, really bad. Okay, that was, that was pretty terrible, to be honest. Losing all that range is pretty awful. But like I said, we have more of the void to back us up here, so it's not a big issue, realistically. Grab that. Skedaddle out of here, I think. Yeah, that wasn't ideal. We lost a bit of fire rate, which we could have done to kept. And we lost uh, quite a lot of range. I think we gained shot speed as well, which we also don't want. So all, all round, not not what we were hoping for. I mean, let's go reroll the item room again. Why not? Just in case. I'm willing to take red heart deals on stuff, so why not? Ugh. Randomized cost is not doing well for us right now. I suppose on, a, on occasion you could get some really good deals, but 
It's like less than a 15% chance, sir. All right, down we go through here. And we can use corruption at the end of this floor, I think. Right, how, how, am I, how is my range actually doing for us right now? Is it okay? Yeah, not really. It's kind of slightly ruined the herming aspect of what we've got going on here. I'll crack this open, why not? I'll open these, fuck it. Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Aren't we glad we did that? Yuck and luck. Gulp, beautiful. Tears down again. Range down, okay, that was... That was bad. <laughs> we have put ourselves in a rough spot. Our range is literally awful, and our fire rate is significantly worse than it was on the last floor. Not exactly what I was hoping for in terms of results here. I mean, our tiers are now almost effectively useless. Um, which, yeah, not particularly happy about. Oh, really? I was, good. I was planning on using that, and it blew it up. In this case, more of the void is our main, main way of dealing good damage. Okay, something wicked had some errors there. Right, uh, Apple of Pride. Good, we can just pop that. Found Soul. Pretty goddamn good. A world card, I'll pop. And what's this? Gives you one additional orbital star for each sleep-related item in your inventory. Um, each star... Let's read that again. Let's read that again. So, hold control to fill a charge bar and tap it afterwards to make a wish. Upon making a wish... Okay, hold control. There you go. An item I have basically never had. Oh my lord. This is about to get pretty wild. <laughs> Big owner for anything trying to kill us. Yeah. It also seems to be generating more tears as well, which is in itself pretty wild. Also, we do now have double more of the voids. They're like fucking brimstone more of the voids now. What the hell? I will take that, most definitely. Pop that. Yeah, this is truly a ridiculous run. <laughs> like, one of the most ridiculous I've had in a long time. Okay, we can't kill these guys until they do the little charging thing, can we? Right. Item room, what do you hold for us? Nerve pinch. I'm gonna randomize and take whatever this is. Oh, it's fucking holy mantle! What is this run? What is this run? Actually fucking ludicrous. You watch this corruption give us like something you've like the best thing ever. Okay, no. <laughs> Fortunately not, it did not. But I had to herp. I already have a golden key, you dick. Right. Try and get this guy to pay out. Ah, oh, just spiders, fuck you. Right. Down we go. Fucking hell. This is this is just something else. My holy mantle now, so we can get in here for free. Black heart, lovely. Not that we need HP anymore, really. My goodness. Don't waste our keys. As I said that, guess what I did? Wasted my keys. 
We've still got our Apple of Pride active at the moment. I'd rather keep that going if we can, but I don't know how long I'll be able to keep that up. Love a little secret room there. Oh, hello. Do I bother with you? Wow. Okay, you have uh, offended me. Half a soul heart. What you could give me? Since I've got some soul hearts on the floor, let's do four pulls of this. Okay, let's knock. We're not allowed. Guess we're not allowed. Right, take one of these back real quick. And keep this craziness rolling. Man. It's great sometimes when you get on, you're like, I just want a nice, easy-going run where I can enjoy myself and have a good time. And the game's like, cool. Coming right up. <laughs> This is the way we start a streak, boys. This is the way we start a streak. I see you over there, with your little dust. I don't know how that guy lived for as long as he did, to be honest. Burnt penny thingy. I'm not even using more of the void anymore, like, it's just an added extra. Like, yeah, it's cool and all, but we're killing stuff just fine. I'm gonna use it in this boss fight, because it annihilates bosses. Unfortunately, not a boss we can easily annihilate, sadly. Not a boss that can easily be annihilated, but each wave, within each wave, things do get shit on. Heavily. But yeah, this this item that gives us the uh, the like outline of uh, electricity around our tears. It's been in my mod list for ages, whatever mod it's from, and I just it's just like the first time I've ever seen it in an actual run. I think it's from Retribution. Right, that's very good because we do need uh, fire rate right here. Very happy to see that. Gribbity grab grab grab. Item room. Do you want to do your thing so we can kill you and move on? There you go, baby. There you go. Oh, random soul of Cain. Yeah, I'll just pop it here. Why not? Puzzle piece. Lovely. Beautiful, and then this one. Ah. I thought we were going to get lucky and get a red room that led into... I don't know what red item would be really good right now. We've got two of the best red items. More of the Void and Sacred Heart, I'd say, two of the best. Magic Mush. Guess we could throw a Magic Mush in there. Not what I was expecting, but hey her. Can't believe how lucky we've got with our trinkets as well. We've got Nose Goblin. Literally the best trinket in the game, a one of. And then we fucking got found soul, like, literally straight after we just gulped it. <laughs> that is nutty. I love the way the found soul just doubles everything as well. It literally acts as an extra character with all of your items. Uh, damage up, picking a red heart as a chance to heal. Bonus, half red heart. Might just touch it. Eh, it's, it's damage, I'll take it. It's not an awful lot of damage, but I'll take it. Right. We go. We go. So I should at least be checking these. Just in case of something amazing. Right. Mum is gonna get Omega destroyed. I don't care about taking damage because I've got that holy mantle to keep us keep us nice and fresh. Just walk in, hold down fire. Do you know what? I'm just gonna close my eyes for every room. I have the doors open. Walk into the next one. Close my eyes. Okay. This, this room has nothing in it, so <laughs> didn't really work. Um, you are selling contraband. 
thank you muchly. I mean, this is literally a freebie here. Like, we, th there's no way they're going to end up killing our ghosties here, right? You'd think. You'd think. Probably should re-roll that, actually, with our, with our active item. Good. Again, good, good. So many extra goodies. Didn't even see what happened on that room, really. And easy peasy. Well, that went rather nice and smooth. What are you going to give us? That's not bad. We'll take that. Not the best ever, but it's decent. Oh, we also get an extra an extra chain of them because of our baby boy. Isaac's skin. Familiar that will follow you. Uh, try to attack any nearby enemy by punching them and rarely throwing bombs at them. Rarely tries to open secret room doors. Has a chance to use cards when entering a new room. That seems interesting. We'll take it. It's uh, it's gross. It's it's horrific. But I don't know. It's cute. Maybe. It's a shame we don't get two of them. <laughs> Chunk of tofu. No, thank you. I mean, I, that disappeared anyways. But I wasn't gonna take it, so that's fine. Uh, freezes all enemies in the room. Petrified boss for six seconds. Interesting, but not super useful right now. It's a cool looking rune. I really like the look of it. Right, where's that item room at? Come on, skin. Go around punching things for me. Birthright. Ooh, baby, I'd like the birthright. What are you gonna do? Nope, oh, okay. Yeah, cheers. Don't mind that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on re-rolling it to see if we can get the money. Not 100 percent sure if we'll be able to, but Birthright is pretty good on this character. We can get a random, deep, potentially decent item. Just pick up all the money we find. And there's our boss. They go use the card for us there as well. I, I, I like this guy. We do boss straight away here. Unfortunately, this is a, a boss that we can insta kill. We've got chariot card, that's why we uh, can't do anything right now. Okay, we, we, we pretty much insta-killed him anyways. What What's going on right now? You okay, bud? Okay, we got him, we got him. He just took a bit of time to realise it. Lemonhead, Tears is good here. Devil Deal. Don't think these do anything for us, so let's do that and see if we get anything better. I mean, Eucharist. Is it? What the fuck? Okay, that was just like spikes on the floor. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like this Isaac skin. It seems real good. Right, still got to find our item room. Still got to try and get money for birthright. Hope we'll be able to. I sure hope he doesn't use like cards that are gonna fucking re-roll me or shit. That would be uh, very annoying if he did that. I don't think he will, but I wouldn't put it past the dude. He is just a bag of skin after all. Our tears are uh, like really small now, but it's not because our damage is lower. Some extra pennies. Lovely. Almost halfway there. Um, apparently there was actually combat in this room. I didn't notice. Finish this room off. I like being able to kill the crows before they can respond. That's very nice. And yeah, let's 
quickly check in here. Yep, let's do this. Tears now, no thank you. Plan C, also no thank you. Extra bomb, I'm fine, thanks. Weird that we skipped over that room somehow. Um, I guess just bomb these guys, see what we get. Hey, that's enough. We're good. Okay. Birthright, please give us something ridiculously beautiful. I, I don't know what to expect from Birthright here, but I am I have high hopes. We should also go and look for item room as well here. We'll take that. Oh, tractor beam would have been good here. Tractor beam would have been very good. I guess I should check the arcade just in case. Does have one of those dudes. Those dudes can be kind of good, but we need our money right now, so... Birthright. We got... Uh, killing a champion enemies grants a random stat up. Very good. Mongo cells. Copies your familiars. Um, familiar descriptions contain information about what bonuses they add. It's kind of interesting. I think I'm going to go for the Wonder Waffle, though. Um, is that a Call of Duty reference? The Wonder Waff, the Wonder Waffle. Yeah, that seems interesting. Killing uh, champions gives us stats. It seems just generally quite good. Nope. I. While the look is nice, I think the Found Soul is so much better. Especially because in Found Soul also gains Holy Mantle. So it's a lot harder for him to die. Wheel of fortune. Dude. Is that Epic Fetus right there? That's epic fetus. I mean, it's good, but it would just not fit in with this run. I think it'd be kind of anti-synergistic, but goddamn, very, very good item to get from that. Right, just running a train through all these rooms. It's easy peasy when you've got the damage like we do. Um, damn it. That's not what I thought it was. What does this do? Turns all pickups into the room into their wisp version. Kind of interesting. Whoa, dude. That bombed me. I'll buy some HP. <laughs> really? The whole point, I think, is for this to blow that up, right? And it didn't. Right, anyhow, we don't need to be around here. Yeah, I thought the uh, the nurse was uh, divorce papers for some reason, even though that's a boss item. I was like, ooh, fire it. Kind of the silhouette of it looks very divorce papers-esque. I'm glad that um, that silhouette thing bugged out and let me saw what the item was early, because uh, I would have probably just taken it, and this is, even though that's a really good item, this is more interesting. And probably stronger, to be honest, with the stuff we've got going on. Definitely quicker at killing stuff. Oh god. Why won't this guy in the middle die? Okay, there you go. Yeah, the other little dude having Holy Mantle is amazing. Really? Can, can we stop with the cards being shit for us? <laughs> I mean, we killed him very, very quickly anyways there. Um, guess I'll take the negative. Oh god, errors. Knife piece two. Quickly slam that into that door. What's going on in here? Ouija board, and I don't know. Ouija board seems useful. And it's a fire rate increase too, which we kind of need, so... I'll take it. Probably could just sit here and let everything kill itself, essentially. I think sitting here... Oops, sorry, I just slapped the microphone. Hope that wasn't too loud. I think sitting here will do us absolutely fine. The swap direction that we're firing every year so often. Get a little more central, actually. 
Yeah, there you go. We literally just look left and right constantly. Do not move. Again, I could probably just like go to the toilet or like <laughs> leave this leave this doing its thing. This this runs that strong. That strong and that beautiful. We're literally only held back by the fucking death animations of the bosses right now. Ooh, spawn above and below me. Cheeky. You thought you could escape me. <laughs> this is this is madness. Absolute madness. I'm glad we picked to do a mother run here. We're gonna be done with a boss rush like very, very shortly. Pin, what exactly is your game plan here? Didn't work for you, did it? Like, some bosses like that literally are dying the moment they spawn. I like the way the firecracker, fire, or whatever it's called. The flower that we got at the very start has just had no chance to proc. It takes four seconds. Nothing has lived for any more than two seconds. Including bosses. Even a second is generous. I gotta have like maybe one more, two more waves left. Dude, this this Isaac skin thing is so fucking creepy. It's a really cool item though. What could possibly be left? Haven't I proven myself to you already? I'm untouchable. Untouchable, I tell you. The lag isn't even as bad as I thought. It's not great, but not as bad as I would have thought. There you go. We did it. Yay! Our ultimate reward. Fucking kamikaze. I should re-roll that, actually. Pisces for a heart. Yep. I will take more tears up, thank you. And out we go. Cool. I have a feeling that Mother is going to be running scared pretty soon. Oh! Wow! Okay. Was not expecting that, but I'm very happy for it. Well done, fella. Well done. Right, now it's all about actually somehow picking the right direction, <laughs> which ain't going to be easy. Why did we just get a ton of stats? What's... Oh, is that for killing elites? Hot diggity damn. That's a lot of stats if that's how much it gives you for killing elites. Holy fuck. Let's keep an eye on that next time we kill an elite. I'm not going to see one for ages now, are we? Back we go. He just fire out some poop boys. I think he did. Good old death card in there. We gained some stats there. Was that from champions? Oh, the spike rocks here that I did not see. Bolonka's hat. I love that for being able to go the right direction. Good, good. And see secret rooms as well. We've got that curse that makes enemies into champions more often. And we're getting stats for champions. This is a pretty good combination of, uh, of things going on right now. Good, good, good. A lot of money there that we don't need, but thank you. Yeah, look at all the enemies that are becoming champions. And we get stats for all of those. That's wild. And this this curse as well can turn enemies that aren't meant to be champions into champions too. Good, good. And Spolinka's hat lets us know that we're on the right way. We're heading on the right path, dude. Yeah, stats are amazing here. Beautiful. Thank you for perishing. Oh, good old bit of gulping. We like it. Um, 
75 cent, really. Okay, we go. Last floor. Last chance for Mother to put up any sort of fight, but I doubt they're going to. Okay. Um, I really like this, this skin thing. It's very good. We've got the same curse again, so even more stats. Lovely. Look at them just climbing up slowly. Let me out the door, please. These spider walls doing their thing. But I think these whale guys have boss army, you know, because they seem to take forever to die even when you're really overpowered. Oh, really? You popped out where the door is? I didn't know you could do that. Nice. I'm hoping he pops some cards um, in the boss fight. Some, some ones that aren't teleport cards. They're kind of nice. Oh, imagine d 4 right now. That would be wild. The only problem is right now we've got like crazy shot speed that we don't really want to have. Right. Let's go time. He did a death card. It's hoping for a, a damage up card, but there you go. He's currently buggered, poisoned, fire flowered, like all sorts of shit going on with this guy right now. Gotta think as well that he is lagging a bit too, so it, like the kill would be even faster than this ordinarily. Oh god. All the firecracker flowers going off. Yeah. You got no chance, buddy. You got no chance. I've just fucking let go a little bit too early on more of the void there. Either way, he dead. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was one of the strongest runs I've ever seen in my entire life. This was ludicrously good and a true return to form. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.